Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Palm Master video. And tonight we are getting the holiday banners, right? Uh, both Ribbon B and the, the, the other guy, the Flying Gyarados, <laughs> right? And uh, these are, again, the how many seasonal banners that we've had in a uh, very, very short, or relatively, I guess, short period of time. And, um, they're both really good. They're, you know, can't lie, these are really decent units, right? Um, so, so let's go over them, talk about them, and, and, and the banners and, and stuff in general, right? So, starting off, um, Ribbon Bee, right? It's Seasonal Lily. First of all, the number, num the number one thing about this unit is, uh, Lily looks absolutely adorable in that outfit. It's so good. <laughs> It's such a great seasonal. Um, I mean, upsides and downsides with seasonals, right? Upside is obviously you only get them once probably per year because it's for that season, right? <laughs> Which makes sense. Um, or, or did I say upside? No, that's a downside. <laughs> um, upside is they look, a, a lot of them are really, really cute. I, I love the uh, Lily one. Um, obviously, you guys know how much I love the Holerica one. Um, Ace Rolla was fantastic. Steven was really, really nice. Uh, Hilbert was kind of cute as well, right? Um, oh, Lyra. By the way, under incredibly underrated Lyra. Um, how cute that outfit is. Obviously, those are the upsides. And um, a lot of people, like, always try to make, like, strength arguments about, like, seasonal. A lot of Some people say, oh, they're too overpowered. And other people say, oh, they're, they suck, right? Well, the truth is, it's it's neither. <laughs> there are good seasonals. There's Ice Steven, absolutely insane, right? Holerica, crazy, right? And then there's also some seasonals that are not not that great, right? Um, Acerola, obviously one of them, right? Um, in my opinion, I think Holiday Skyla is slightly overrated. Obviously, those a lot of damage on the sync move, right? So hard to set up. I I don't think it's a really that great of a you know um, kit to run. But again, it's solid, right? Um, as with most of the units in this game, there really aren't too many weak units in them. Obviously, you do like the Braviary, uh, Grimsley to an extent, right? Uh, for Alligator, but generally, the the game just keeps on putting out like solid units. Like, what, what can we do, right? So, anyways, um, Lily, speaking of solid units, fantastic unit, actually. Um, Lily reminds me a lot of like regular Lily plus uh, Holerica. That also gives you like crit. <laughs> <laughs> so, from that you could already tell this is this is going to be an absolute bangers unit, right? So, um, starting off from stats, fantastic defensive stats, right? Uh, plus two hundred on both defenses. Uh, HP not that great. Uh, for for a tank, right? Uh, it's not terrible either. It's just somewhere in the middle, right? Uh, speed's not the best, and your physical special tag is kind of whatever, right? Um, although it, it is a physical unit, by the way. So, as for the moves, you do have Leech Life. If you guys, I, I mean, I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, um, videos with Hilarica, because I love Hilarica, and second of all, she's really, really, really powerful. Um, and you guys have seen how powerful that Draining Kiss is, right? That Draining Kiss with the Master Healer. Draining Kiss being only a two-gauge move, right? Base power, not that high. Leech Life, three-gauge move that heals. Base power, very high in comparison, right? Um, this is going to be absolute madness in terms of the self heals. Um, Dire Hit All Plus is one of the most powerful support moves in the game, right? Um, only one other unit has it in the game, right? Which is Phoebe. Um, and not that many other units have, uh, moves to this effect, right? You got Sabrina and Lyra with Dire Hit All, but not Plus, but they also get, like, Crit Squad on the grid, right? Um, so one of the rare units actually does have um, Dire Hit All Plus, which is really, really uh, strong. The trainer move is, um, it's it's good, right? I do think, I think a lot of people underrate how good Evasion is, is in the game. Obviously, it's not anything fantastic, but also not, like, as bad as people say, right? I mean, sometimes you have bad luck, what can you do, right? But, like, even if you just dodge, like, one move, if you just dodge one move every, like, cycle, that, the value that you're gaining over there is huge huge on certain stages, right? I mean, it depends. If the opponent hits, like, a feather, then it's whatever, right? Uh, but if you, like, dodge, like, a, you know, clutch, uh, like, a giga impact from, like, a B or whatever, that's that's a lot of stuff. And the more important part about buffing evasion isn't even, like, about dodging moves. It's about, like, a lot of the units 
that have like shifty striker or, or blind spot or or um uh, not shifty striker uh, stuff like a blind spot or bobber weave that does uh give them more damage the more evasion they have right stuff like crowbat right um uh typhlosion stuff like that so that's definitely something that we don't have the only other unit in the whole game that buffs other people's evasion is misty there's literally only one unit in the game that does that and then now we have a second one which is really nice uh move gate boost <sighs> i mean it's uh, I wish he had some other move, but move gauge boost. Anyways, moving on. Um, the sync move is just an impact physical. It's a bug type, by the way. Uh, nothing too special here. Passive team sync regen is incredible. Uh, after you sync, you give your whole team regen. Um, that's very broken. <laughs> it's very, very powerful. I uh, got Q cutter and uh, team out muscle. These are both give you like a small chance to either decrease your sync move countdown or increase the attack of all your um, allies if you do dodge a move. Well, the chances of these happening aren't really high, so I wouldn't, um, just don't have that much, honestly. Um, anyways, moving on to the sync grid. You got some fantastic stuff over here. Master, you'll learn leech life, obviously. Fantastic. And because like the big issue with uh, Lily B is that she is like a three gauge move user support, right? And that does obviously cost a uh, a bit of gauges uh however uh it does help a lot that she does have two move gauge refresh threes on leech life so that again definitely helps a lot right so um on top of that you also have some other stuff stuff like ridicure to you know heal when you dodge that's the stuff that uh sings elisa has which is fantastic on sings elisa all right um you also got stuff like uh um interference immunity so you can't get flinched trapped confused at all which is really really good and you have let's see uh toughen up free a uh, three 40 percent chance of increasing your defense when hit by an attack move and fail forward one charge move gauge by one when uh you know your opponent misses you which uh, again does help with the move gauge uh situation right so syncret isn't all that right also slippery slope nine which is uh raise your evasion when um when when, when something you know misses you right um Synchro doesn't all that, but you do have Master Healer, which is huge, right? Master Healer 2, Move Gauge Refresh on Leech Life. It's not anything fancy, uh, but it's very important and very, very powerful, right? A lot of times, a lot of, you know, Synchro's not really flashy, but are really, really good. Um, so that's, again, definitely, you know, a huge plus here. And Lily B, in my opinion, just strikes like sort of as a confi lily b does heal more than confi actually as much as confi already as much as uh, you know confi already heals right does heal a bit more than confi for herself uh, obviously doesn't heal as much as confi in terms of like you know healing for your whole team because confi has an aoe potion um but what lily b does have is the ability for offensive support right dire hit all plus again huge 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 and also evasion buff for your whole team and then all the other stuff that she does um, absolutely fantastic unit. Um, in my opinion, this could be a banner worth summoning on if, 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 if you don't, or, or if you do need tanks in your team, um, if you do need tanks in your team that, uh, that, that, that could get the job done. And also if you are missing rip off you like if you don't have like a i think everyone like needs to get a crit support right you have to get a crit support like the free to play crit supports they're okay they just don't cut you know they don't cut it because they don't give you plus plus three crit right um so the big crit supports here are like uh sabrina lyra uh phoebe and now lily b right that gets you to max without relying on mp refresh right um and and if you want to rely on FP refresh, you got things in blue as well, right? Uh, I would suggest every player at least have one, right? All of these are very, very good. I'd probably put Phoebe, like, one here below all of the rest, right? Um, at least get one, right? If you don't have Lily B, then Lily B could be a good option. However, here's the thing with Lily B. Um, and here are, like, my slight reservations about this unit is if you don't get it to like three out of five, it could have some gauge issues, right? Again, it is a, like a three gauge move. Like if you're running it with like relatively faster units, it should be fine, right? If you're running it with say like, I don't know, like a Metagross plus, uh, I, I guess you need, I, well actually, actually honestly, if you're running it with Metagross, I take the bad, that was a bad example. If you're not running it with Metagross, you 
don't really need any other offensive supports because you give oh you know what ah okay that was a terrible example okay Lilby is actually really really good with the metagross more I think about it right because you could you know easily max out well I wouldn't say easily but you do have the opportunity to throughout the course max out uh, metagross's physical attack and then you'll max out his crit as well and then you tank hits all that stuff right and then on the third spot you could just throw in like a Skylar or whatever right um, I guess not, that's not the best idea, you know, just something like really, really, uh, I guess like Zekrom, right? Zekrom's maybe a better example. Um, I don't know, maybe Zekrom's not. You know what, the more I think about it, the more, <laughs> I guess this move cage issue isn't as big of an issue as, as I thought, right? Because like a lot of units um, that need crit already do have um, some way of buffing their attack. There really aren't that many strikers in the game. That just don't have any offensive buffs at all. They usually either have crit buffs for themselves, or they have attack slash special attack buffs, right? And if you do have those, you could just easily slot in like a speed buff or like a Skyla or something, right? So now that I think about it, I, I guess you don't really need three out of five. But again, you know the heals for the yeah the extra heal on Ma um Massey Healer or Leech Life is definitely you know much appreciated in my opinion. Um, but then again. Uh, you, you do have that extra, uh, you know, heals with, like, regen if you sync with it, right? So, a lot of really, really good stuff on this overall. Um, again, I would recommend you pull if you are, you know, lack it, lacking a tank, if you are lacking a crit support. But otherwise, if you already have, like, a good crit support, if you already have, have like, a good tank, right? If you are if you already have stuff like Comfy, um, at least 2 out of 5 Sing Zoo Blue, or uh, 3 out of 5 Lyra... 2 out of 5, Sabrina, I hope I'm not getting these dupes wrong, I think these are correct, right, just talking about, you know, Max now crit, or, you know, Phoebe, I guess, right, although Phoebe, again, <laughs> put it down a tier now, <laughs> um, and, or, or, you know, in terms of tanks, right, Dawn, Celix, uh, what else, I mean, sure, it's not necessary to pick up Lilibia, I really don't think it's necessary, again, fantastic unit, um, Again, if you are, like, a huge, huge Lily fan, if you love the outfit, I'd say go for it, because if you miss this one, it's going to be a year, right? But otherwise, if you do have stuff that already do stuff that Lily B does, although, again, Lily B does, like, combine, like, a lot of things on herself, right? Um, but otherwise, I, I it's definitely not necessary. Uh, but if you don't have any of those, this is definitely a good option to go for, right? Because, again, she does like, sort of bring, like, a lot of things on, on, onto this one, you know, kit, right, so, anyways, um, that's me with this one, I guess, hope you guys enjoyed, again, I will be summoning later, uh, tonight, as usual, uh, live on the channel, so check that out as soon as that drops, uh, good luck to any, anyone summoning, and, uh, yeah, uh, that's me with this one, I guess, hope you guys enjoyed, let me guys think in the comments down below, like me with this video, sorry, channel for some more, but my content, I'll see you guys in the next one.